add pride to the world contributing your part unconditionally said rudolf goklinian the elder born on 1st march 1547 in germany who died on 8 june 1628 in germany was a german scholastic philosopher gokel is often credited with the coining the term psychology in 1590 Though the term had been used by Marco Marulic at least 66 years earlier pride everybody loves that word pride and they look outside pride of the world add pride to the world mean to your world to your world of your hands making your hands strong your legs so physically strong your eyes doing your eye exercises your neck exercises your stretching exercises and then you make sure that you drink 10 to 12 glass of water flush out the internal things you do your pranayama that is your breathing exercises and then you go to your house your house this house is over the house wherever you are staying your flat or your own house or your own land you go and do your plumbing sanitary painting carpentry just have a look beginning it might take some time but later on wherever you go out you look for very good painting and you buy and store them so you can create colors in the house beautiful and shining when paint is down it looks dim in the house and the sanitary is to be made updated so you learn those are the creative things those have got a connecting link to your samskriti connecting link to your nature connecting link to your culture and once that culture and the nature mess you are strong because wherever you go your absorption power increases on all those things electrical plumbing sanitary when you look at electrical you start looking into the electricity place add pride to the world and then you add pride to the world yes to the to your family to your joint family and stands tall the family tree and when you look into the electricity you know oh, what is such a beautiful world of sunshine you try to understand the sunshine you become the sunshine you start collecting the solar and creating light everywhere be a light unto yourself goes the saying contributing your part unconditionally once you know that then you do not have to think whether i should promise anything unconditionally because you know it flows it flows through you the sunlight flows through you rain water flows through you the nature flows through you everything is so powerful you know it that one basic thing the schools and the colleges have not taught, taught the children maintain it they drag drag them somewhere disconnecting them from the base and everybody is suffering but if everybody knows about plumbing painting electrical sanitary building how a house should be built in what material we can do it what is organic what is medicine plants how to use rain water how to use the sunlight with the wind energy and i think they do not want to teach you these basic things because these are the basic things which helps you to see the truth and it's very close to god try that add pride to the world unconditional love then when you love your wife or your children or your relatives or the subject what you are into it it is unconditional the last years of his life the carpenter children have grown up and the children went and told the carpenter look dad you are getting old we are all working we will take care of you you can retire the carpenter goes to the owner and tell, tells the owner look i am getting old i want to retire because my kids 
uh, asking me to retire. Allow me to retire. So owner said, not a problem, you can retire, but one last house you make and you go. The carpenter was very angry. This man is very greedy. Even at this time, he's not allowing me to go. So wantingly, not wantingly, he did a very bad work. He completed the house and he went and told the owner, the house is completed. Now can I retire? And the owner said, one more day you give me. Tomorrow we'll do a puja, then you can go. That time also, this man was telling me, even then, this man is not living. Next day, the whole company was present in front of the house. And the owner himself came. The company boss himself came. And after the puja, the company boss gave the key to the carpenter and said, this is for you. And the carpenter was shocked. Oh my God, if I had known this house is for me, I could have made it beautiful. Unconditional love comes only when you are in touch with your nature. And then you, till the last drop, till the last day, till the last second, you will do a beautiful job. Let come what may be. That is all the spirit.